everybody welcome back to another episode of bravely second this might be our last so let's go ahead and try to make this one a good one we're running through the path to the celestial realm with lots of stories to tell here vega and i got along well though purely as colleagues at first and then and then summer is the perfect season for risks and adventures you know or perhaps the heat had just gotten to my head. In either event, that summer I took two great risks I'd never before dared to. The first was to ask her to accompany me to a festival. Kill courage! That's the spirit! The second was when I confessed my feelings to her. Wow, way to go. But how did you work up the courage? <laughs> Sometimes a man must do what he must. Not that I wasn't nervous the entire time, mind you. Every moment of that night, from the fireworks to our hapless attempts to scoop goldfish, had been indelibly etched into my memory. That this memory has become a ball must mean it was of deep meaning to Vega as well. Goldfish scooping? That sounds strangely familiar. Yeah, didn't someone we know do that? I... <sighs> yeah, that was them. Okay, let's continue here. Oh, I was like, I was looking around for something. It was just that bomb arm there. Okay. There's, uh, okay, there's another blue pad up there. Let's see what is over here. It's just one chest. Okay, another Arctic wind. We've gotten plenty of those. If we go up here, there's literally nothing. Cool. Okay, there's the yellow up there, so we'll take that right after getting this chest here. Crystal helm. Okay, we could probably put that on maybe Magnolia. Magnolia could probably use that. Let's see, which one of those... Okay, so this would probably take us over to that chest over there, right? Yep. There we go. And we got probably one of the strongest bows in the game, which... We don't really have any rangers, so... We don't really need to use that, which is fine. But what's over here first? Another chest with another item. The Soul of the Moss. I think, wasn't, isn't that a pretty good item? I'll have to, let's just go through a couple more and then we'll end up checking that item in a second here. Mm. This memory seems different from the others. And with good reason. It wasn't all love and romance after all. Vega and I may have grown closer. But we were still colleagues, working in the same lab on the same research team. That sounds... complicated. You'll recall that my being sent there was a demotion. We were given neither the funds nor tools to carry out meaningful work. But dreams are the ultimate motivator. And so Vega and I poured ourselves into our research. She believed in my hypothesis, and did whatever she could to contribute to my vision. She snuck into the archives to retrieve data I could not, and contributed creative ideas and solutions whenever I hit a dead end. In the end, my experiments succeeded, and my hypothesis became an accepted theory. That was when I first felt it. I felt... No, I knew that I could overcome any difficulty if only she were by my side. That I wanted to share a life together. If attraction is gazing into one another's eyes, then true love is setting those eyes on the same shared goal. Or so my theory goes. Right! Same goal! Got that, you? You understand, don't you, you? What, what are you looking at me for? Do, do you understand what he means, Magnolia? Yes, no. I do. All too well. Oh, this is giving me a headache. Alright. Let's see, where are we going here? 
A little chest action over here. Another little consumable item, which kind of useless, but fair enough. Now we got a yellow one. This one can go anywhere else. Let's go ahead and take it. As we run over here. So we need to end up at that blue teleporter. That is where our end game is right now. We got the yellow one there at the end. So we'll save that one. Let's see what else is over here. Okay, we can go down. We can go up. Does this take us to a teleporter? Okay, so let's quickly take this teleporter. Ooh, wait, but this takes us to the end, so we want to take that one later. Let's go ahead and grab everything else while we're at it. So where I want to go is that brave suit. Okay, that'll probably help. Let's grab every single item, but I also, real quick, before we grab that one chest, let's go to this yellow teleporter because that will be able to take us to all the way at the bottom there. So we can make sure to grab that chest. Yep, takes us to the bottom here. And yeah, we can grab this chest. Ooh. You know what? No, we'll, we'll equip the items in a little bit. I want, I'll spend like one portion actually just equipping all the items. But for now, let's just run around and grab everything. We can run over here. And grab this chest. Hmm, okay, like a big old sword. You love to see it. Okay, back up we go. Let's go in here. Okay, and then over here is another chest. An ogre's club. Okay, that might be good. F I don't think that's good for us. We want to use clubs that enhance magic not physical attack and i think the club is one of those ones that is in between oh, oh look what we have here once again i have good news and bad which would you like to hear first the bad news and make it quick you're quite the anxious type aren't you idiot we'll have none of that i shall start with the good news Why'd you even bother? It was a very special night. A holy night, one might say. I reserved a most lavish dinner for the occasion. It was that night that I finally did it. I proposed to her. Natalma! She must have been so happy! How did you ask? There was no dithering about. I just came out and said the words, Will you marry me? She cried. Uh, uh, cried in joy, of course. It was the happiest moment of my life. But that's wonderful. So wait, what's the bad news? Though we were now engaged to be married, I could not afford to buy a wedding ring. I was receiving fair wages for my birth, but I poured the lion's share right back into my research. She told me not to worry, that my love was enough, but still, it ate away at me. Shortly after, we held a small ceremony and became husband and wife. I eventually saved up for a ring, which I gave to her the day before I left for Luxembourg. I didn't appreciate it at the time because of those worries, but in light of all that came afterward, it was a happy time for us. After that, you and Vega were forced apart. Quite so. In the end, I never saw her again. But do not cry for me. My life was far from a sad one. After all, I lived my life to the fullest, working toward the goals I had set for myself. I lived my own life, and no one else's. You must all live your own lives as well. Have courage. Be brave enough to default on the expectations of others. To find the courage to defy the world and live our own lives. Listen, everyone. Altair says he has no regrets, and I believe him. But I'd rather live in a world where his efforts are rewarded. 
Altair doesn't deserve to have his true love stolen from him by some dark god's meddling. That's right. Let's free Vega from the grip of the false god Providence. Of course. I don't want to see another person forced to live without the one they love. Recommencer avec bravoure. A second chance, if we're only brave enough to seize it. As long as we don't give up, there's always a chance to do things over. Altair, don't give up on Vega yet! Yes, indeed. Alright, let's keep moving on here. We're on phase five. Ooh, a lot of dinner plates run running around. Barrier shroud. Okay, that could be pretty good. Probably just like cast some like weird barrier. Okay, so we got a gold here. I'm guessing this is gonna take us not to the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that here. Anything on this end? Nope. Okay. Continue on this way. Earthbreaker. Alright, now that could be a good axe for um one of them. We've got who uses an axe? Me Magnolia does. Alright, let's go to... Th Wait, before we go here, let's just check. Yep, there's a chest over here. The Gungnir. Alright, we can't really use that one because we have no Valkyries or anything, but... Probably a cool item. Hyper Bracers. Those... I think those are better than the Power Bracers, no? So I think we'll actually end up putting those on because I think someone has Power Bracers on at the moment. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and go through here. That'll take us here. Get this next chest. And we'll be able to go through the blue fox. Tent event here? Okay, well, real quick. Let's just go ahead and go to our equipment. And let's see. Are either of these better? He's actually. Oh, let's just do it anyway. Because she usually tends to attack more. And usually Magnolia hits for 9999 anyway, so what is this one? The soul? Let's also go into the tenth time here. Thanks. That was really delicious. You don't want another helping? You're usually on your third by now. <laughs> oh, Lavash! Did my meal not agree with you? What? No, no, it was great. Your here comes another schnitzel was the best, really. Pork schnitzel on top of veal, on chicken, on boar, on venison, on rabbit, all in one dish. What's not to like? Right, especially when they're coated with fresh breadcrumbs and deep fried to a perfect golden brown. Magnolia, it's amazing how far you've come. I take my hat off to you. Leaving aside how she passed you ages ago, what gifts? Something's up. I made all these extras, too, for your seconds and thirds. It's just that... All right, fine. The thing is, I'm trying to eat healthier. I can't be the only one who's been feeling it. The stress, I mean. I'm constantly on edge, and my hands keep shaking for no reason. It's about to happen. For real. You mean the battle to come? Are you that worried about it? Yes, and you should be too. If we're not fully ready for it... Right, but I'm thinking there's something else on your mind too. Oh, <laughs> Tiz, you always see right through me. I've been thinking about Altair's story. Quite a bit, actually. He wanted to see Vega again so much. Enough that his soul has crossed time and space. And I bet Vega felt the same. When I think what it must have been like for them to be torn apart like that, it's just hard to eat, you know? Tis, you have Agnes, right? You know what I mean. Yeah, I guess I do. Whoa, see? Yeah, me too. But you have someone too, Idia. Someone you'd cross time and space for. Yeah, I guess you're right. I do, don't I? <laughs> Idia. So, um, anyway, what am I gonna do with all this extra schnitzel? Let's wrap them up for now. We can make sandwiches later. Who knows how long this fight is gonna last? Better safe than sorry. 
Right. Great thinking, sir. Here, we don't want to waste any of this garlic, so let's use that too. I'll donate all my chocolate. What's a sandwich without it? Okay. All set. All right then. Everyone, a quick rest, and then we head out. a mega elixir why do we get a mega elixir from that i mean i'll take it I, I love myself some mega elixirs i'm just not sure why we collected that all of a sudden this is the final phase okay one straight shoot no playing around okay another little friend here let's go ahead and rest in a cottage also wait a minute if this is our final place here, I do want to check out some of the enemies that are around here. Because, you know, I have my encounters off. Well, it looks like they can all still get killed by a single idea attack, so... It can't be that good. Let's continue on. Let's just see what else they got up in here. Okay, they got a turtle and another knight-looking one. Let's go ahead and repeat here. Can Tiz kill these two just by himself? Not particularly, but it was close enough. There we go. Okay. Let's see what other kind of creatures they have in this place. Okay. We already saw these ones, so we'll just let you take care of those. Okay. Let's see what else they have. Okay, more lizards. Is that all they really have here? Ouch. Go. Let's do it. Vega? Is that you, Vega? It's me. I've waited to see you. I waited. And I waited. I waited lifetimes for you to come back to me. Forgive me. Vega! Where were you? All those years? Didn't you know what I was going through? Left here, waiting for you? I know, Vega. I, I'm sorry. Why, Altair? Why did you leave me? Why didn't you come back for me? Well, what do you mean, Vega? The day you left, they lied to me. The place where I was supposed to meet you. It was a trap. They... They killed me. Wh what? Why didn't you protect me? Why didn't you keep me safe? Okay, bud. Tis, you're all right. Stay strong. Providence, what's this about Vega being killed? Would it be such a shock? Let us just say it might as well be the truth. Yes, I assure you. That woman would have preferred a quick and merciful death to what she was left with. Leaving her in that dying world to live out the rest of her life in pain and anguish. Oh, oh how her 
Sisters, and I tickle my palate like the finest of delicacies. I've never tasted anything so exquisite. You, you monster! Your anger is appetizing, my tongue. But it is not quite my supper time. Yes, it is true that this woman was crushed under the weight of infinite hopelessness. And yet, even that despair did not purge the last vestiges of that man from her heart. This confounding love for the man who had forsaken her. Her sickly sweet memory. That revolting hope that they might meet again. I wonder how I might wipe away those last moments of reminence. The question lingering in my mind for a few centuries. At last, it came to me. The images I saw within the tatters of her fading soul. Images of a strange, verdant world. I would raise that world, that Luxinger, to the ground. And I would use her own twisted memories to do it. Her every desire to see her true love would be transformed into a weapon to destroy this new world. <sighs> How absurd it would be. How Hopelessly and deliciously tragic! Her guilt fueled even greater despair! And give me strength! Under the gloom of hopelessness, her memories of the past twinkled brighter in the darkness. And the ball that waged war against her lover's world grew all the stronger. My servant Annie sent the monsters forth as I waited and waited and waited. Here, in the celestial realm, I fed on Vega's suffering as the ball did their work. Finally, you have come, forging the path between worlds that I have sought for so, so long. The day of my descent is nigh. I shall drown your pitiful world in despair and swallow it all! Not if we have anything to say about it! <laughs> you would deny a god, Mordo? Before me, you are little more than insects adrift in the winds of time. We deny you because we are mortal. Our feelings, our lives may mean nothing to a god like you. But for us, our emotions, the memories we create with others, good or bad, this is all we have. I deny your right to claim them for your own. You said it, you. Look, I don't care if you call yourself a god or an immortal or whatever. I'm done letting you use the hearts of our friends as your personal plaything. We're gonna send you flying to the edge of time and space! Altair has been with me all this time. His pain is hurt. I felt as my own. He might be goofy on the surface, uh, like a cantaloupe, but inside is a sweet and sensitive soul. He suffered long enough, Providence. It ends today! I've learned so many things on this journey, but the most important lesson of all is this. Nothing is ever hopeless. It's never too late. You're never too weak to fight for what you truly believe in. I believe in a world ruled by hope, not despair. And thanks to my friends, I have the courage to fight for it. <laughs> Do you know? Ah, oh, humans. You are creatures of such light. The light. It hurts my eyes. And now, 
I shall snuff it out once and for all. Are we fighting? Let's fight. Let's go. All right, we're finally fighting this thing. No problem. Let's go ahead and default, default, default. Seven stars. That was loud as crap. Okay, he's just gonna hit. Let's go ahead and bring in some meteors as rains, meteors as rains. Let's go ahead and do some resurrect as a mist, and then a benediction as a mist here too. With Magnolia, we're gonna go ahead and default again and default again. Okay, there we go. There's some meteor rains flowing. You are summoned for insights. But your resistance means nothing. Give me a break! This woman's sorrow and despair. It knows no bounds. the compass everything that we dreamed of at last our dreams will become reality we can make them all happen now our dreams <sighs> the sixth station oh. i can feel her trying to resist my control even now the soul that expanded ages eons ago Vegas fighting against the false god's control! Now, this is our chance! Oh, insolent humans. Do you think I need that woman to destroy you? <sighs> Suffer! I will relish the sweet, sweet taste of your despair! Okay. Let's go ahead and get some resurrection mix and benediction mist. And let's go ahead and do the Meteor Rain once again with Magnolia. We're going to go ahead and do the classic free lunch with some Amp Strikes. And with Adia, we're going to go ahead and just do... Um, let's do... Ooh, Impertinence. But I don't really need that. And just some normal attacks, and we should be good. Let's go ahead and start slashing at him. Just how Adia does best. I wonder if this will kill him just on his own. Especially if she starts critting like that, it's gonna be a little crazy. Okay, Magnolia now gets to do her strikes, which all should hit for 999. together we will tis my young friends thank you Quel joyeuse journée! reunited at last after the heavens only know how long and now some parting advice from me to you 
Keep your hearts like chamomile. Chamomile? Oh, silly Altair. Trying to pass along those green proverbs to these kids. Chamomile is said to grow best and strongest when trodden on, you see. That's why it represents energy and adversity in the language of flowers. <laughs> so it does. And now you know my last little secret. I always hated eating vegetables. So Vega came up with these green proverbs to help me see their worth. So take them to heart and eat your vegetables. <laughs> Fair enough. You're one to talk. In fact, I ate more than my share of vegetables since coming to Luxembourg. To remind myself of you. Altair. You. Your feelings are strong and true. Do not let them go unspoken. We'll miss you. And I will watch from the far side of the universe as you rebuild your homeworld, Magnolia. Good luck, Altair. And to you, Idia. Run straight to him, the man who has been waiting for you all this time. May the two of you find true happiness. <laughs> and you as well, Tiz. And with that, my friends, like the leaves of an artichoke, I fear we must part. Paths meet and diverge, but life carries on. Go in friendship, and bon chance. Oh, are we back in our little bodies again? Uh, okay, that was a little unexpected. I didn't realize we'd be going back in our bodies so quickly here. Um, we could give a quick moon update, I guess, just for giggles, but I'm guessing that's just a bunch of gifts. Okay, fair enough. Nothing too important.